launch is enabled for the flight control system. T minus 90 seconds. And the handoff of the ground computers to the Ares 1X flight computer has occurred. T minus one minute. Sound suppression water system now armed. The sauna rocket booster joint heaters are being turned off. And we're now going inertial. The navigation system is activated. Auxiliary power units have started. Solid rocket motor nozzle gimbal checks are underway. Ignition system is armed. Sound suppression water system is activated. T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Ignition and liftoff of Ares 1X. Testing concepts for the future of new rocket design. Altitude now two miles. Taper pressure now tapering off as designed. The vehicle is lining, aligned itself with the planned trajectory. We passed Mach 1 and we're now passing Max Q. We have our Max Q system ID maneuver PTI engaged. Solid motor chamber pressure picking up again. T plus 62 seconds. Now passing Mach 2. Vehicle now 10 miles altitude, downrange distance 8 miles, and a velocity of 1540 miles per hour. T plus 80 seconds, we've started our supersonic large amplitude ID maneuver PTI. We see the response. Started the last PTI maneuver, structural mode ID, and we passed T plus 105 seconds. Vehicle's now traveling Mach 4, 20 miles altitude, downrange distance 32 miles. The uh, SRM tail off is observed. Burnout. Our APUs have shut down, CRDs have shut down, medium fire. And SEP. We show a SEP. We'll have a burnout orbit uh, parameter in just a second. These numbers were calculated right at burnout. The height of apogee, 21.92 nautical miles. And again, that's not peak altitude because the vehicle was still drifting up, but that is at burnout. Coming up on T plus 190 seconds. After vehicle separation, we have no guidance tele telemetry return. We're still looking at a good telemetry signal. 
and we can confirm the aeroshell, aeroshell separation. Our telemetry engineer, Mark Levine, making the telemetry calls, assisted by J.J. Joyner. Plus 235 seconds.